Guys, it seems like everyone is working with video these days. Whether it's professional or just simply our own social media, we've all become video editors of sorts. And with such high quality cameras and phones, files are getting big and sometimes quite complicated to manage. Working with different types of video files and formats can sometimes be a bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna show you some cool software that is gonna help you to manage your videos with the greatest of ease, and it's coming right up. What's up YouTube? Dave here with Scene for a Lens, and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on that bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. So guys, today I want to show you the Video Proc Converter. This cool video software lets you convert not only any types of video format, but it also gives you the ability to edit your videos. So that sounds a little bit geeky, right? But I mean, why would you want to convert your video files to another format? Well, I can tell you now, geeky it isn't. In fact, quite the contrary. You see, nowadays we're all shooting in 4K, and why not? The quality and flexibility that you get from 4K video is incredible. But the file sizes that 4K videos create are big, and storing them can be a bit of a challenge. For example, a five minute video shot in 720p takes about 125 megabytes of disk storage. At 1080p, it's about one gig, and at 4K, it's nearly two gig. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if we were just shooting the odd video. But let's face it, we're shooting videos all the time. And you know what? Even with high levels of storage on our smartphones, it won't be long before we're forced to delete stuff or, of course, buy more storage. And when you add video footage from things like action cams, drones, webcams, and a whole manner of different gadgets that we've got, all with different file formats and different file sizes to deal with, it can become a bit of a chore. So let's take a look at how Video Proc Converter can help. Now, when you first launch the software, you'll see four options. Video for converting and processing, DVD, which will enable you to load a DVD or an ISO image and convert it and back it up. The downloader, which actually enables you to download videos from the internet, such as YouTube. And recorder, which lets you record screens, webcams, and a lot more. But today, guys, we're going to focus on video conversion. Now, incidentally, if you'd like to see some of those other features and have a preference of order, then just leave me a note in the comments. So let's jump onto the computer and see just how easy and quick this is. So here's a video shot in 4K of me talking. It's about nine and a half minutes long and it's over seven gigabytes in size. This is for another YouTube video and let me tell you, I make a lot of videos and I like to keep them. And even with 48 terabytes of RAID storage, I'm still very wary about file sizes and storing them. Now, these days, you're gonna need a pretty beefy computer to edit 4K video footage especially when you start using some effects, layers, color grades, and so on. So again, converting to a more manageable format makes complete sense. Now, here you can see that we have a number of options available. We've got cut, which does just that, enables you to cut parts of your video out that are not needed. We have crop, which is kind of cool because you can add things like cinematic bars or just crop out areas of your video, so that's pretty neat. You also have the ability to add subtitles and other cool effects, and you can also rotate and flip the video, both horizontal and vertical. And lastly, you can add a watermark. Now, at the bottom, you've got several target formats you can choose from, and a ton more that you can add with adjustable settings. There really is more feature and configuration options than I've ever seen in such a cost-effective and intuitive software package. Now, on the right, you can see the hardware encoding options. Now, if I click to check if my hardware is compatible, you can see that my Apple M1 Max CPU can pretty much handle everything. So that's reassuring. 
given the uh, cost of these computers these days. Oh, and if you want to see those formats by file type, format, device type, or whatever, you can. In fact, there are over 300 different formats that you can convert to and from, including audio. And lastly, you've got a toolbox for other editing goodies. So before we do this conversion, let's click on the options just to see what settings are loaded. Now, even taking the defaults, check out my target file size after the conversion. It's down to just over a gig, so that is seven times smaller than the original file. And here, you can customize all of those settings, including codecs, frame rates, resolution, bit rates, and even audio codecs. But unless you are a bit of an expert in this field, I suggest just leaving the defaults to see what you get. Now, let's click on convert and see what we get and how fast we get it. So guys, in two minutes and 40 seconds, we have our new video file. So let's take a look at the size. Now, Video Proc Converter comes as a paid for annual subscription or a lifetime purchase. And you can select a single computer or a family license. So really, really good value for money. Now, something like this with so many features and so cheap is absolutely amazing. And as well as those options, there is also a free version which limits you to an output of five minutes of video. And that is what I'm currently using. So now back to that converted file. Well, because it's only five minutes as opposed to the nine and a half minutes of the original file, the file size is a tiny 637 meg compared to that massive seven and a half gig for the original. So let's check the quality. Well, there you can see it. It's pretty much amazing. I mean, I can't really tell any difference. I mean, you know, if I had to pick out something, I would say my video on the right, which is my converted video, has slightly better color. It looks sharper and slightly more saturated. So yeah, how can that even be possible? So my video that was shot in 4K, compressed to a fraction of the original, with no loss in quality and actually better color saturation, that is quite amazing. And taking a look at the pricing again, you can see that even the most popular lifetime package will pay you back in no time if you had to equate that cost of either online or offline storage as to the amount of storage you actually need by shrinking and compressing your files down with no quality loss. I am dumbstruck. Now, for a bit of an extra test, because to be honest, like I said, I'm so damn impressed by this software, let's try converting to HEVC. Now, this seems to have engaged the Intel CPU, which of course, with Appen's own silicon, we don't actually have an Intel CPU, but okay. But we've also got the CPU um, button lit up. So let's run it, see what we get. Now, you can see that the conversion is 40 seconds faster, and wow, the file is six times smaller than previously converted at only 151 meg. And the quality, well, as you can see between the two converted files, there is absolutely no distinguishable quality difference. Guys, this is an absolute no-brainer. So guys, that's just about it for this one. I've got to say, I'm pretty blown away with this software and we've only seen a fraction of its capabilities. So if you'd like to see the other components or you have a different test you'd like me to do, please leave a comment. Also guys, at the time of making this video, Easter 2022, there is a further discount available on this already ridiculously cheap price. So hurry over to the website. I'll leave all the links in the description. And guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and smash that bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Dave with Scenes for a Lens and I'll see you the next time. Bye for now.